sorry. Yes, and this one should bring you in this uh, GitHub page. So there are several ways that you can use to clone um, this uh, repository. Someone can use um, HTTPS or S uh, SSH, or they can even download it with zip. If you try to use to, to clone it, you just have to, to clone it like that, execute the command, and this one will fetch all the files. You will find the link by just copying it uh, here. So um, let's see what uh, this uh, repository has inside. So uh, we have uh, four different directories. Each of the directories has uh, applications that we can use to monitoring and um, uh, to start uh, uh, using and uh, give some details on how to use. It. There is the README uh, file that will contain documentation and we have also a zip uh, version of Tarzan that uh, you can uh, right now start and uh, use. So uh, let's start on how we can install uh, Darson. So first of all, what we will have to do is we have to enter our uh, directory. Then we can see that we have the Darson uh, tarball here. We can um, untar it using this uh, command. Uh, now, Darsan will uh, be located in this directory. And uh, here we will have the two subdirectories that are the Darsan runtime and the Darsan uh, utilities. So we can add the, the Darsan runtime and try to configure and compile it. So for this, we will need to have uh, MPI, we can load an MPI implementation. And uh, for our test, we have to have a quite new version of GCC. So we will load this module also. And now we are ready to start and compile Darson runtime. Um, I will follow the commands exactly as uh, we have listed them in the readme. You can execute prepare. Then you can execute the configure command. Uh, here you will have to change the prefix in whatever you would like to have your uh, installation path. Uh, if you don't specify prefix at all, then it will try to install them in the uh, default directories. For this, you might need to have uh, sudo access. Uh, for the moment, um, I will just not uh, specify prefix at all, and I will be able to find Darshan library directly in this uh, directory. Um, again, important is to, to keep in mind this one that it specifies the environmental library that we will set up to specify where the Darshan log uh, file will be stored. Uh, after that, we can compile the code using the das uh, j parameter here, you can spy the number of uh, uh, threads that you can use during the compilation time, so it performs uh, faster. If you have already specified a prefix directory, you can then use make install to install Darson uh, runtime into the specified prefix directory. If you have not, you will uh, find 
the library that are some generated in the subdirectory here. Lib Darson is uh, the dynamic library that we should reload uh, before our MPI uh, jobs in order to be able to trace IO. So here we more or less set uh, uh, the same. And uh, let's continue now. Let's continue with installation of the Darshan utilities. Uh, here are the commands that, that you can use for that. Let's go ahead and uh, enter the Darshan utilities uh, subdirectory. Uh, for that, we will have to execute again prepare, and then we will have to execute configure. There is no need to set uh, MPI as a compiler for uh, uh, the compilation of Tarsan utils. However, you can use uh, the prefix parameter to set up your preferred directory that uh, Tarsan util will be installed. For my case, I will set up the parent working directory. Then we can just uh, execute make and make install. That this one will compile Darson utilities and then they will install them. You will find that uh, your Darson utilities will be stored in uh, this directory, in under the build directory. If you have used the uh, parent working directory as a prefix, otherwise they will be installed in uh, your uh, uh, specified directory or in the default uh, directories. Uh, something that it is uh, important is that uh, if you want to be able to use all Darson uh, utilities, uh, some of these would require extra packages. For example, the job, Darson job summary utility will require uh, extra parameter, uh, extra packages. And um, here is a command that uh, contains all the extra packages required. This will work on uh, Ubuntu machines. Uh, just make sure you execute that before you execute the uh, Darson job uh, summary. Otherwise, it will not work. So now let's go ahead and uh, start uh, monitoring uh, and executing our uh, sample applications and see uh, what we can uh, get of that. Um, 